Okay, here we go. I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to make an animation for Second Life using Blender and Avastar. I think I'm in the version 500 Avastar and the latest version of Blender as far as I can tell. Um, I'll get on with it. Go horribly wrong, but we should do our best. So we're going to add Avastar. Hopefully we should get the. There it goes. The little, the little man. Uh, and then we need to select the uh, the little loops thing around him. Change it into pose mode. We get that green thing up, and then we change from default view up here into animation. Um, which brings up this over here and then we change dope sheet here to action editor um, and then we've got to pose our person um, so we we drag out I don't know arms and legs I've no idea what kind of pose we're going to do we'll just do something stupid because you, you can become a great animator in your leisure So I'm just right clicking on the loops and left clicking to release them. <coughs> now once we've got it all vaguely posed, press A a couple of times until we get it all selected. Then we press I. Then we press uh, rotation. And then all these little bits here pop up. And you go, oh Jesus, what is all that crap? And you go, I don't understand it. Um, and then we go over and select our last pose. Um, and we just drag this arm over here, uh, drag this arm over here, drag this foot over here. Oh, let's move the head around and go like that. Wee! Oh, oh shit. Apologize for the swearing, it's all part of the job. Right, once we've reposed it, we do select all again, which is A a couple of times until it's all highlighted. Press I, and then hit rotation. And you see all this shit happen in the uh, timeline. Now, this animation is, we've got 600 frames, I think. No, we've not, we've got 240, there we go. So we'll type 240 in down here, which kind of sets our end point. Uh, if you press play, it should, yeah, there you go, it's, it's, it's working, it's a miracle. Your animation should be working by now. Okay. Um, and that's basic tweening between the first pose and the last pose. The way I've been doing it is you pick a point in between the two on the timeline and then you can uh, add a rotation in here and oop, move, move a, a leg over here and just generally keep tweaking with things until you've got your fantastic uh, animation. Again, you select all, press I, and do rotation. I'm sure there's a whole lot of other clever stuff you can do with this too, but I don't know how to do any of that because I'm just learning. But when I came to look, there were no good tutorials, no videos on how to do this stuff. Uh, there it goes. Working like a good one. Right, once, you, once you're about happy with it, on the right hand side over here, check you're on the little camera rendery thing. If you scroll down here, animate. We should find animation export. It needs to be on BVH. You can adjust the frames per second. It comes out at 24, but it's um, it's not entirely essential. Um, then you hit export animation. I'm just dig it on my desktop with all my rubbish, and it exports as avatar action BVH. The BVH on the end is important, otherwise it won't work. And that's all there is to it. Now that you'll import in Second Life doing um, build, upload, animation. And it should just work. Um, that's about it. That's about it to make a long story short. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Judas Shuffle. <laughs> Take care.